Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to integrate Typeform with a drag and drop AI app builder called Vectorship AI. This is a continuation from our previous video on Vectorship leads in chatbot. If you have straight landed up into this video, please make sure to check out our previous two videos on this series where we are trying to completely automate and sales process using AI using Vectorship platform. Just to recap what we have done so far. In our first part of our video series, we have demonstrated the Vectorship platform overview. And then in the second part, we have created a basic chatbot with knowledge base and then transformed it into a lead gen chatbot completely using no code solutions. Please make sure to watch both the videos as linked below. And with that said, let's straight jump into the tutorial. So if I click here, that takes us to the type from form where it asks all the details to potentially onboard the customer right so this is all automated using ai so next what we will do we'll integrate this type from with another pipeline or workflow automation where once the user would provide it once the user will provide all the details then we would automatically send an email to the user's email address with the next steps maybe payment link and all the other details right go to pipeline and we'll create another pipeline let's again do it from scratch now when we would create such pipeline for automations with type from or similar app integration we need to do a bit of design or planning so basically if you see here what are the questions that that this form is asking one is the name so the name could be a widget and um, then it asks what are the type of content so maybe social media content the third one is it's asking for the packages so you could say silver package and then the fourth is the email address which could be like admin at the rate no together.com so these are the really four questions that this um, type form is asking for the potential from the potential customer so that's why what we would need is like four input here now let's name the input as first is name um, second is email third is video content and then fourth is subscription type so we need this for input here first so first we want to search the knowledge base based on the video content type and we can also search the knowledge base for the subscription type so we want to create the response or the email that we want to send to the user should be based on the selection of the video content type and the subscription types one of the best way to search any um, vector database is by using a question answer pattern so what we could do is we could use a like a text node here just say what are and then add a variable here called input and then we would add the video content type to here so we are basically asking to the knowledge base what are the different services available for the input that means in this case in for this case it is the social media content so this question will be asked to the knowledge base and a result will be fetched from the knowledge base based on the video content type and similarly for the subscription type we want the subscription specific knowledge like whether it's a gold subscription package or silver subscription package we want that information fetched from the knowledge base as well when we would respond to the customer now that we have this what we want to do is we want to again use an openai llm node here again i have drafted a system message which basically says that should greet the customer then briefly show the expertise based on the customer selected content type briefly outline what's included in the package as selected by the customer send the payment link based on customer selected subscription do not include an email subject because we want to add the email subject specifically to the email node and we want to attach the sender of the email name sam here because sam is the owner of the business right so this is the whole like system prompt so now we want to add the actual prompt which will contain the dynamic information so we would give this as a prompt so we'll add the customer name as name and let's add another variable called content type that again another variable called subscription we also want to say our service offering for the selected content type and this is where we would say the let's say content knowledge package type and let's add it as let's say offering okay so we create all these variables and then let's add this variable one after another so the name should come here and then the content type again that's the content type which will come here subscription information again come here the content knowledge which is from the vector database connected here and let's say the and the finally the service offering for that package 
you know based on the selected package so basically here we have we have shown the different package what it contains and how much it costs so that information should come here so with all this information the OpenAI LLM should be able to create the perfect email response because this is actually going to create the email body for the customer so this is what we need and now once the response body is all drafted what we want to do is we want to add a integration and we want to let's say use gmail node here as we want to send an email so you use gmail block here and you can actually connect an account i have already connected with my gmail account and then what we want to do is we want to send email right so you need the body so the body will be whatever the ai would generate we also want to add a subject uh, which is the title so we will use a text node subject line will be welcome on board and then we use the name of the customer that will be our subject for example so this goes to the subject and we need the name of the customer so it will be a personalized email so we drag it and connect it there okay so that becomes the subject and the recipient would be the email address let's drag it the email address here to the recipient that's how the email node is set up our pipeline is ready for doing the customer onboarding let's just click deploy and then now we want to deploy it as automation because this will be integrated with our type form right so we will click automation um due to some mistake i have actually closed that browser without saving the pipelines i have now recreated the pipeline once again and i have saved it now what we want to do we want to deploy it as an automation so we'll click automation this should now ask me to select an app we want to integrate it with type from so we'll select type from and then it will ask me to connect the account i'll create the connect account i'll just hit accept so this will connect my type from account now when this automation would hit whenever there's a new entry that is made to the type from now what we want to call it let's say work together customer onboarding and the trigger is customer lead from which is this one so now it's asking me to map the content from the type from um, to the pipeline so basically for the name this will be the name this will be the video content and then this will be the subscription type and that will be the email right now one thing i can see straight away is the record is coming as json which is not what we have expected when we have created the pipeline initially so what we need to do is we need to transform this json fetch the actual value from it that we can use it in the pipeline right okay so the integration is done let let us create the transformation script now we go to transformation um we create new and create new transformation let's name it to json to plain text function name is same let's give the input name as input string let's give the output name as value click next so i've already written the code so basically what it is doing it's splitting the json to getting the second part and from that it's stripping the double code and just fetching the value and it's returning the value so that's our transformation looks like that's the customer onboarding pipeline now what we want to do is use that transformation script so that any json input that's coming from the type form and um, submission using the transformation script will face the actual value so let's just remove that let's remove all this connection first let's actually connect this here similarly use another transformation we select the json to plain text same for the content and same for the subscription type okay so now that we have used that that means at the end of this transformation script in each node we have the actual value now video content this value will go here and don't worry if you are getting this um, warning it's fine so this subscription type goes to here again the video content type goes to here subscription type goes to there um the name that goes to here the actual email value after the transformation comes here again the name come here yeah so that's how our pipeline the final pipeline looks like save it go to automation and then hit deploy and now we should be able to test this so let's do the end-to-end -end testing now okay so let's go to chatbot and click run okay so let's say i have, I have said i want to create four product demo video each five minute every month for my app brilliant idea what services do you offer as you can see that the assistant has responded and then it has given the link to contact us and that gets into the lead from stuart is the name he's looking for let's say facebook ad let's say he's just looking for silver package and let's keep the email address same and then hit submit and there you go 
we have got the email welcome on board store to work together the email is specifically customized based on the user input which is first facebook ad silver subscription package related details is kept here then it has given the payment link and then it says if you have any further assistance please reach out to this email address and at the end it's the sam as the founder of the work together is mentioned as the signature so this is how sam can now automate his you know onboarding client workflow completely using ai and he doesn't have to break a sweat he has got he he can get all his time free while customer could uh, actually get onboarded through their email and all the chatbot feature easily and very very smoothly right so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to publish both this workflow that i have created and i'll see if, if i can publish this as a marketplace work pipeline and if i can do that i'll share that into the discord community so please join to the discord community um to get the pipeline link if you're ever going to use the vector shift uh, product yourself i think they have a very good uh, free tier if you want to try it out yourself so please go ahead try out their free tier and uh, you can definitely create some pipeline the other benefit that i really want to mention here is you see when i have created this openai llm node i haven't actually specified any key but you can actually specify your own personal key if you want to manage the api cost yourself um, that option is provided but if you do not want to have those overhead you can just untick this option so what will happen is uh, vector shift will track the api spending or ai api spending and it will kind of bill you or charge you on your card so that's something you should keep in mind when you join as a free user you get some one dollar credit or something you can definitely reach out to vector shift and get all those clarifications that was the very short tutorial demo on the vector shift product yes there are different other features that is available there are multiple complex pipeline that you can build for your workflow um please let me know how you are going to use it and again shout out to vector shift and albert for kind of supporting this channel um i am going to bring more such contents more such product reviews in future on this channel so stay tuned subscribe to the channel take care and i'll see you in the next one bye